Well, it's another day and another Hollywood actor is apologizing for an offensive role that they once played, this time 35 years ago, in Short Circuit, which I must say was one of my favorite films when I was a kid. It's about a bunch of robots that were built by a military contractor to be weapons, and one of them gets struck by lightning, and then it becomes, quote, alive, and it escapes the factory, and they try to chase after it, and it becomes a big debate about whether or not it should be destroyed or not. Anyway, it was a great movie. Fisher Stevens played the supporting actor, Ben, however the heck you pronounce his name, who was an Indian computer scientist who was also quite hilarious. Okay, yeah, what if you don't catch it? What if it goes out and melts down a busload of nuns? How would you like to write the headline on that one? Nun soup? Ben! As you probably guessed by now, Fisher Stevens is not Indian. And he's doing a round of interviews because he's starring in a new series on Apple TV. And he says that playing that role still haunts him to this day. Oh, child, oh, this is a barrel of monkeys, so oh, let us go scrape up some female chicks. I'm sorry, but if you don't think that his character was absolutely hilarious, you're a moron. Wait until the twits on Twitter find out about Soul Man, an old film from the 1980s. I haven't seen it, but it sounds hilarious. It's about a kid who gets accepted to Harvard Law School, but he doesn't have the money to pay for tuition, and the only scholarship that's available is one for black people. And so, well, you guessed it. He applied, claiming he was black, and then once accepted, went to Harvard in blackface. I think I'm gonna buy the DVD because I'm sure that this is gonna be a collector's item someday. I probably won't be able to sell it on eBay because they don't allow people to sell racist uh, books and movies and things like that. So maybe I'll just have to sell it at the swap meet. I'm sure it'll be worth a fortune someday, just like those banned Dr. Seuss books. It's okay when they do it though, right? When black people perform in whiteface, <laughs> which I guess really is a thing. I mean, there's a movie White Chicks with the Waynes brothers in it where they go undercover as FBI agents as two white women. And I haven't seen it, but just from the premise alone, I'm sure that it's hilarious. They certainly don't make comedies like they used to. Mama, baby. Oh, how are you? I'm fine. How y'all doing? Hi, Have you met Dorothy? No, actually no. they haven't. Not <laughs> you must be Michael's parents. Mama, put your glasses on. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> this is mud on our faces. We're not really black. <laughs> now, the Snowflake Millennials are probably too young to be familiar with the Golden Girls, but maybe we should introduce them to that clip because I sure would like to see them try to cancel Betty White. There's plenty more to come in this video, but real quick, subscribe to my channel if you're new here because obviously you're gonna wanna hear more. So subscribe to the channel and check back here on a regular basis. Now they're even upset at Elon Musk because of his appearance on Saturday Night Live last week because during one of the skits he played Wario, which is a character from the Super Mario Brothers series and that is offensive to Italians. The Italian American Foundation issued a statement <laughs> saying, quote, in an era of enhanced sensitivity to racial and ethnic stereotyping, Saturday Night Live's sophomoric Wario skit demonstrates a profound double standard continues to exist when it comes to acceptable caricatures of Italians in popular culture. As you know, they're upset about everything. Now there has been a total of six white voice actors who have left their roles as animated characters of color because they don't want to be committing verbal blackface. It's virtually impossible now to tell whether or not something is parody or it's something that liberals actually believe or do. Take this girl, for example. Stop normalizing white people going tanning to the point where you can tell a difference. Like, go ahead, go out in the sun, but purposely going and tanning to make your skin darker is literally blackface. Point blank period, it's literally blackface. Now, I haven't looked into that clip, but I'm pretty sure it's a parody. She's a great actress, but I'm sure that there are people that crazy who really do think that way. I mean, remember a couple years ago when Katy Perry's shoes got banned because 
People said that the shoes were blackface. I'm actually surprised that Walmart hasn't pulled those pictures of models, white models, wearing charcoal face purifying masks. You know that someday they probably will. You know how accurate my predictions have been. Have I ever been wrong? The black fragility is getting so bad that in Tampa, Florida, an employee at a Dunkin' Donuts killed a 77 year old white customer who allegedly used a racist slur in the store. The thug punched the 77 year old senior citizen who fell to the ground and hit his head and died. I don't care what he actually said. You shouldn't punch a senior citizen for hurting your feelings by calling you a name. On Twitter, of course, and YouTube, there are countless black people who are celebrating this hero employee for teaching the white guy a lesson. And we all know how hurt their feelings get when white people sing along to their favorite rap songs. Meanwhile, there are countless stories like this. Two boys, 11 and 17, arrested in connection with violent robbery of elderly Asian man. This from Oakland. And there's security camera footage of the incident. I'm not going to show it. And the perpetrators can clearly be identified. But this story from NBC, and I'm sure many others say that the race of the attackers is not known. Or this story, person arrested attacking Asian women with a hammer in New York City. A person. Well, I mean, I guess <laughs> we shouldn't guess this person's pronoun, but uh, we certainly know other definitive characteristics about them. Of course, in the rare instances when a white person attacks or harasses an Asian, that's literally in the headline. Like this story from Newsweek. Video shows white man berating Asian family in Burger King drive through And now a 16-year-old American Idol finalist has been kicked off the show because when he was 12 years old, he was seen in a video with somebody who was wearing what looked to be similar to a KKK hood. It wasn't the contestant, it was somebody who was next to him. And in reality, they were dressed up as a character from a horror film called The Strangers Pray at Night, one of whom wore a white hood. And even if it was, he was 12 years old and kids do stupid things, so who cares? Remember a few years ago at Bowling Green State University, a student reported that they thought there was a KKK meeting going on on campus in one of the classrooms? Because when they walked by, she thought that she saw a bunch of people in hoods and it turned out to be lab equipment. You know, just like a bunch of microscopes and things covered up with plastic sheets. Society has gone insane. And I think the only thing that we could possibly do at this point is to laugh at them and mock them. Despite all the craziness in our country, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to have a good summer. Especially with the lockdowns lifted and the face diaper mandate having ended. So save 20% off of any of my shirts this weekend by using the promo code PARTYTIME, one word, PARTYTIME at the checkout. Get yourself an I Love Global Warming tank top, t-shirt, long sleeve, or a hoodie, or a Trump's America shirt, or any of my awesome designs by heading over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below, enter the promo code PARTYTIME at the checkout to save 20% and check them out.